Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. For today's video, we're going to be providing a follow-up on a Canadian penny stock we've talked about on the channel before. The company name is Delic Holdings. They just wrapped up their inaugural Meet Delic event in Las Vegas, so super excited to talk about that along with some other big developments at the company. Before we get into it today, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. Huge help to both myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comments section below if you're holding shares of Delic, what you think about this recent news, and how you feel they stack up to some of the competitors in this space. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on Delic Corp. They're just on the heels of a big in-person event, their inaugural event in Las Vegas. So we're gonna be covering that. In addition, we're gonna talk about some recent news at this company and how and why I think they're set up for such big growth moving into the back half of 21 and fiscal 2022. So we're gonna kick things off here by taking a quick look at the chart. So for those of you who aren't super familiar with Delic Holdings, they trade under the ticker symbol DELC on the Canadian Securities Exchange. We've done a number of videos talking about Delic on this channel. So if you haven't had a chance to check them out, please feel free to go back and take a look. We've done some deep dive analysis on the company's business model, as well as a number of news related updates. As you can see here, this is as of close November 12th. They closed out the week at 21 and a half cents Canadian. They have been downtrending over the last six months. So if we pull up a six month chart here, you guys, you can see that this company was trading back in the low 30s at the start of June. You can see again, low 30s in the middle of September. And they actually reached a high of about 38 cents on September 22nd. And since then, they've just about cut their share price in half. So if you have been looking for an entry point into Delic, you guys, I think the buying opportunity may be starting to present itself. We're gonna talk about my bullish thesis as it relates to their clinics and the build out of these clinics later in today's presentation. But the share price right now is looking very attractive for me. For full disclosure, I do not hold any shares of Delic, but I am looking to initiate a position potentially this week because I feel the building blocks are now in place and this company is really looking to scale and start to bring in some meaningful revenue over the next couple of quarters. Now in terms of market cap here, you guys, Yahoo Finance has them listed just under $13 million. On a fully diluted basis, they have about 77 million shares. So multiply that out by 21 and a half cents Canadian. You're looking at a market cap on a fully diluted basis of about $16.5 million Canadian. So keep that number in mind as we start to go through the presentation here, specifically in relation to the number of clinics they now have up and operational, very attractive market cap in my personal opinion, compared to the portfolio of assets you're getting with this company. Now, before we get into the recent developments here in the news, I did wanna quickly bring up the US ticker here as well. So they do trade on the OTC under the ticker DELCF. So if you are looking to invest on a US exchange, you've got that opportunity again on the OTC and they closed out the week on the US side of things at 17 and a half cents. Now I did wanna present a very quick summary of what it is Delic Corp actually does. Again, for people who are new to this company or new to the channel. So they're really a leading psychedelic wellness corporation committed to bringing safe, legal, and science-backed benefits to all. Our self-sustaining and owned ecosystem of brands educates, influences, and develops products and serves patients at scale. So as you'll see throughout the presentation and in previous videos on Delic, they've really focused on creating an ecosystem of various different components within their company, whether that's education or information, a media side of the company, they've got their clinics, they've got a science division or research and development side of the company as well. So a very holistic approach to this industry and really trying to help patients or people looking to experiment with psychedelic wellness from start to finish throughout their journey with these products and services. And that's really what they mean by that self-sustaining and owned ecosystem of brands. Now the last paragraph here, we're gonna build this out in more detail towards the end of the presentation, but they currently have the largest infrastructure of psychedelic wellness clinics. And with this portfolio, they're bringing psychedelic wellness to the masses by increasing patients at each clinic 
an increasing patient spend per visit. So this is really the monetization strategy of this company, you guys, is get patients into the clinic, show them the benefits of psychedelic wellness and how this compares and really exceeds some of the existing treatments that are out there. And that's how this company is going to drive revenue and create shareholder value moving forward. And in terms of what these clinics are actually trying to address or treat in their patients, it's really a variety of mental health problems that are getting worse across the world right now in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. And as we've talked about on the channel at length, you guys, the existing treatments out there for anxiety, depression, a multitude of these different disorders are very ineffective and it leads patients feeling helpless. There's high levels of relapse and there really hasn't been a lot of innovation in this space in the last couple of decades. So Delic, along with some of the other companies we've talked about on the channel, are really looking for new innovative ways to solve these type of problems. And in the case of Delic, they're really looking at ketamine as the active ingredient or the molecule to help achieve these goals. So now that we've taken a quick look at the chart, we've talked about what it is Delic actually does, what they're trying to address or solve in mainstream society. Now I wanted to switch gears and talk about the really exciting and recent news. So this is the big one here. This is under the media umbrella of Delic. And this was their inaugural in-person event in Las Vegas here, you guys. It's called Meet Delic. So this is an in-person conference that's meant to bring together the world's best and most forward-thinking psychedelic wellness advocates to one location and talk all things psychedelic wellness in one location over one weekend. So you can see they have investors, psychonauts, entrepreneurs, and various different guest speakers that are meant to really help attendees experience, connect, and expand the way they think about psychedelic wellness as a whole. So this article actually came out on November 11th. So this was following the in-person event in Las Vegas there. And you can see inaugural Meet Delic experience sells out, becoming the world's largest psychedelic and wellness event. And this really speaks to that ecosystem that Delic or Delic Holdings is trying to create for their company. And we're gonna see how this event has a direct impact on the clinical side of the business and their revenue in a couple of seconds here. So as you can see in the article, more than 2,500 people visited Area 15 in Las Vegas to attend and experience a two-day event full of programs, activities, and over 20 hours of talks, panels, lectures, and discussions on the intersection of psychedelics, wellness, and business by over 60 various thought-provoking leaders, medical professionals, and wellness advocates. So Jackie Stang, who really leads the media side of this company, also happens to be the co-founder of Delic. Jackie's the one who actually hosts the Delic Radio podcast as well. Goes on to say, we're incredibly humbled and unbelievably inspired by the number of people who came out to meet Delic and joined the conversation on the power of psychedelics to heal and remove the stigmas surrounding them. The world and our minds have evolved and so should our medicines. We are already looking forward to 2022, so tickets for next year's event are already on sale and how we can continue to show the world the latest in proven health and wellness benefits of psychedelics. So again, reshaping the way the world looks at some of these mental disorders and stigmas and really trying to come up with innovative solutions to help patients overcome some of these challenges. So the 2022 event is going to take place very similar time, November 5th and 6th, again in Las Vegas. So if you guys are interested, take a look at Tixer.com. Some of the big or most notable speakers at this event, so Lamar Odom, huge NBA star, you guys, talks about his journey to beat addiction, heal PTSD and anxiety through the use of psychedelic medicine. So a very practical and well-known case study that was featured at the event here. Duncan Trussell, who's a comedian and podcaster, actually went on stage and filmed or taped a live episode of Family Hour. And then a variety of other keynote speeches by various different PhDs, medical doctors, and people that are involved in the psychedelic wellness space. So overall, you guys, the event was a huge success and really acts as a major catalyst for the entire industry moving forward. Now, the other thing I wanted to bring out in this article, and this was super interesting to me, and it talks about how well this company set up in terms of their cross-functional units and the way they can cross-sell, upsell various different products or solutions through this media division, is actually the final point here in regards to the KWC or Ketamine Wellness Centers. So this is a subsidiary of Delic Corp. We're going to talk about their acquisition, which actually just closed on KWC next up in the video here. But over the Meet Delic weekend here, 
KWC actually set a record for incoming calls to their clinic within a 24-hour period of nearly 2,000 different potential patients or people interested in learning more about their treatments. So this really speaks in exactly what they say here, how Delic's ecosystem concept of business really works and helps again to cross sell or intermingle the various different business units or components of this company. So they get people out to an in-person event in Las Vegas. People can understand, learn, ask questions. And as they're educating themselves on the benefits of psychedelic wellness, they actually have a clinic or clinics where they can call and book treatments at the very same time. So with that being said, we're going to move on to the next article, which talks a little bit more about the KWC acquisition. Now, this one came out on November 9th. It talks about Delic completing the acquisition of Ketamine Wellness Centers, and this is really what makes them the largest psychedelic wellness chain in the United States and that claim to fame in terms of brick and mortar locations. So Delic now has a national presence across 10 different states, providing millions of Americans with access to new medicines and treatments for a variety of health conditions, which we just talked about. There's 12 operational clinics today with plans to add 15 additional clinics within the next 18 months. So they're scaling very rapidly here, you guys, on both the KIC or KIC and KWC acquisitions. Part of the existing leadership bonus was set up around opening additional clinics. So the existing leadership teams at both of these companies actually get performance or milestone bonuses based on opening new clinics and hitting certain revenue and profitability goals. And the final point here, Kevin Nicholson, who is the CEO of KWC, has now been promoted to the Chief Operating Officer for Delic. So it's very interesting and very important here, you guys. They're retaining this talent and they're integrating the existing leadership teams into Delic Holdings organization. So in terms of their geographic exposure, they've got operations in Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Illinois, Minnesota, Nevada, Texas, Utah, and Washington. So spread all across the United States. And with the close of this transaction, Delic's overall consolidated revenue on an annualized run rate is expected to be around $11 million. So keep in mind that market cap we talked about here, you guys, about $16 million Canadian. Now they've got a run rate of about $11 million in terms of their revenue. And that's exactly why I think this is such an attractive opportunity as an investment. So in terms of the transaction highlights here, you guys, again, this establishes Delic as the largest ecosystem of mental health clinics in the United States. KWC has been operating profitably and expanding significantly with 2020 revenues in excess of $3.5 million US. And they're on track in 2021 for $4.5 million. So you can see the revenue expansion and growth there. That's again, bringing Delic's pro forma annualized revenue on pace for about $8 million US or about $11 million Canadian as we just talked about. Delic is now focused on opening locations in what they're calling secondary cities, again in an effort to provide access to the most patients or most Americans possible. And the final two points here really speaks to their history and experience. So established history of providing FDA approved ketamine infusion services for the last six years and then the management expertise, the acquisition of KWC will add a team of more than 60 plus medical professionals and employees, which bring a wealth of industry experience and knowledge to Delic. So over the last six years, you guys, this team has overseen 60,000 treatments to various patients. And that's the kind of experience that Delic now gets folded into their greater organization. Now, in terms of the transaction summary here, you guys, you can see the total or aggregate purchase price of KWC was $10 million US. And in terms of the performance bonus that I mentioned, here are the details there. So members of leadership are eligible to receive additional consideration of shares upon each new clinic that's opened by KWC, but they need to post three consecutive months of profitability and revenue of at least $135,000 US during those three months. So that's super exciting to me as a potential investor in this company. Now the milestone agreement is capped at 30 new clinics, but honestly, if they're able to get 30 new clinics up operational and profitable, this company is gonna be a force to be reckoned with. And I think everybody, investors included, are gonna be extremely happy to pay out this total potential of $3 million US in consideration shares. Now, with all that being said, you guys, I did want to take a quick look at the map here and show you guys the base of operations for ketamine wellness centers.
just so you can get an idea of how well they are spread out across the US. So whether we're talking the north, south, east, or west, you guys, they've got a presence across the US here. Ketamine Wellness Centers, you can see listed in the blue dots. They've also got the Ketamine Infusion Centers, so Kick, located in Bakersfield and Phoenix, Arizona. And then again, 15 new locations that are currently in development. And that's what gives them this claim to fame as the US's largest retail and physical footprint in terms of psychedelic wellness and clinical services. Now keep in mind, states do have various different levels of legislation or legalization as it relates to some of these treatments. So as new treatments are legalized in these various states, they're gonna continue to offer options and expand to those secondary cities like we talked about on the previous slide. Now to close things out here, you guys, I wanted to take a quick look at the financials on any one of these given clinics because it is really important to understand the money and the investment that's involved as they begin to open these new locations. So it costs right now about a quarter million dollars, 250,000 US to open a new clinic. They're expected to be break even within approximately six months. And in terms of their annualized run rate or revenue, once they're up and operational here, they're expected to be around a million dollars US with 25 to 30% operating profit. So as you can clearly see here, you guys, as the number of clinics that Delic has within their portfolio continues to expand, the numbers do become quite meaningful quite quickly. And this is what we're going to start to see in their quarterly revenue reports or earnings reports in the next couple of quarters. And that's exactly what I think is going to grab investor attention and start to move the share price of Delic back to where we saw a couple of months ago here. Now in terms of the actual treatment costs, so there's a number of different treatments available. Again, ketamine first and foremost here, that's kind of the go-to at these clinics. So they're about $300 to $750 per session. Psilocybin, quite a bit more expensive, you guys. These are projected costs, again, waiting on legislation and regulation. These are expected to fetch $10,000 per session. And MDMA, kind of the midpoint here between four and $5,000 per session. So you can imagine if they generated 2,000 calls in a 24-hour period from the Meet Delic event, even if they convert a fraction of those calls, you guys, into actual treatments, that's a substantial amount of revenue for Delic and really makes that event that much more meaningful for the company. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Tons going on at Delic, huge event, very successful. So I wanted to get an update out. This is a company that I've really grown to like and I'm going to continue to provide updates on my channel moving forward. As mentioned, I'm looking to initiate a position in Delic Corp probably this week. So I'll keep you guys posted on if and when I do decide to pull the trigger. If you have any additional questions, feel free to mention them in the comment section below. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And if you're still watching at this point in time, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button on your way out. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.